So we're going to test my blood sugar now that I've uh, had a meal. This was two hours ago a meal. So we're going to test the. 당뇨 초기 판정을 받았던 코프만 씨는 알로에를 먹기 시작하면서 몸에 변화가 생겼습니다. 무엇보다 들쑥날쑥했던 당 수치가 정상으로 돌아온 것입니다. Which is pretty good for two hours after a meal. I weighed 250 pounds. Um, I had uh, my glucose levels would go up and down all day long. In order to combat that, I became um, really a, a latte or mocha drinker three to four times a day. So my energy levels and my um, blood sugar would go up and down all day long. And with that, I, I had a lot of inflammation in my body, um, started having aches and pains really everywhere from my head to toe. And I started drinking aloe products, and with that, um, I noticed almost immediately that my blood sugar started leveling out. And over the next six months, I went down to about 210 pounds. So I also lost around 40 pounds. 그렇다면 알로에 무엇이 이런 변화를 가져오는 걸까요? So this is a 12 lead ECG. I'm just going to wait for it to normalize a little bit. Um, and I have a nice signal here. So if you remember last time, what we are telling you is you could be in either arm, which is either the aloe vera arm or the placebo arm. So you will not know which drink you are getting. So you're going to be randomized to either, either of those groups. 사친샴 박사는 먼저 알로에를 복용한 뒤 인체에 생기는 변화를 실험했습니다. 무엇보다 알로에를 먹고 심박동에 문제가 생긴다면 그것은 치명적인 부작용이 될수 있기 때문입니다. That's the QT interval. If the QT interval prolongs, that can actually lead to fatal arrhythmias. And people can actually go into sudden cardiac death. So if the QT prolongs by more than 30 to 50 milliseconds, for example, then that drug or the dietary supplement that we're giving people could actually be called pro-arrhythmic. The chances of it causing an arrhythmia or a bad heart rhythm are higher. It was safe, which was is good, safe. because ephedra was a uh, plant-based substance that was used for weight loss a while back, was pulled off market because it prolonged the QT interval. So investigating the effects of dietary supplements and even drugs on the QT interval is very important. Um, in this case, aloe vera did not affect the QT interval, which was very nice to see. 알로에를 복용한 뒤 심박동 간격에 미세한 변화도 없었다는 것은 그만큼 안전하다는 것을 의미합니다. 심박동 수도 정상입니다. 그렇다면 당 수치에는 어떤 영향을 미칠까요? 이번에는 알로에를 먹은 실험자의 당 수치 변화를 체크해 봤습니다. Fasting blood glucose, we had a little less than 300 people. And for hemoglobin A1C, we had a little less than 100 people. And what we found was aloe vera, overall, all studies included, had a change of about 45 milligrams per deciliter, uh, deciliter in fasting blood glucose. And it affected hemoglobin A1C by about 1%. Now this effect is actually quite a bit. In fact, there are some drugs that have a similar degree of effect. I think that we have a long way to go in really tapping into the true potential for aloe vera. So I am really excited about um, continuing some of the work that we're doing on aloe vera. And I urge other scientists to uh, really look into the medicinal properties of aloe vera.